Okay guys, so welcome back to Joe Wright is what I call it, yeah. Uh, so I'm Joe, not sure if you've known that before, uh, you might have forgotten because it's been like, what are we in, it's April, be like eight month, who cares? So I've got something for you today, you may like it, you may not, you may not give a shit either way. Um, basically, I'm going to be talking about something that I collect. Now, um, I'm going to be doing a couple of these, maybe a few. Um, they're pretty crappy. It's like you've got some people who collect coins, some people who collect stamps, feathers, leaves, whatever. What I do is if I go to a football match, never been to a football match, if I go to a rugby match or well, I've only really been to rugby matches. Then I will buy a program for that match, you know, a program, a match day program with all the information. And I will keep them and got them there as like a collection. Uh, most of my collection is actually taken up with football programs despite not being able to go to football matches uh, because my granddad knows someone whose husband used to be a football referee and he used to go to a lot of England matches and also matches at Wembley Stadium and he used to send me these um programs if i remember what i'm talking about he used to send me these programs and used to add them to my collection so i'm gonna do gonna get them sorted gonna go through different programs it's a fucking flying here and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to talk about when i got them and the significance of this program okay so what i've got here is my programs it's very full uh, I won't show you because they'll all fall out because it's literally filled to the brim. And what I'm going to start off with is my first program, which is probably uh, one of the most important I've got, which is the World Cup final program from 1966. Obviously, unless you don't know football or you're a bit dim, the significance of this is that England have only won one World Cup and this was the game in which we won it. Against West Germany, July 30th, 1966. 4-2, the final score went to extra time as well. So there's that one. Now, by far, excluding that one, the favourite, the best one I have in my opinion is this one. The Rugby League World Cup Final 2013. Uh, I went to this game, I bought the programme. And honestly, it was a, not going to say it was a great game because New Zealand got smashed. But just the overall thought of going to a World Cup final, a Rugby League World Cup final was just great and so that is my favourite programme. Uh, second to that does come this which uh, from the same year, the Super League Grand Final which was Wigan versus Warrington. Um, I went expecting Warrington to win but they lost. Um, again, because I went, the significance of it is just I was there, got the programme. Really good match, actually, a lot closer than the World Cup final. And yeah, it's just everything about. It's just. So, following that comes the first football programme that I have uh, in the list. It's the FA Cup final 2012 Chelsea versus Liverpool. Now, as I say, I don't, I've never been to a football match unless it's Sunday League football. And this. As you may know, I'm a Liverpool fan, and the referee that I know sent me this. Uh, Liverpool, Chelsea versus Liverpool, it was like the second cup final Liverpool had been in since I'd started watching football. The first being the Capital One Cup final the same year. And we won that, but we lost this 2-1 to Chelsea, which was actually really unfortunate. But again, a good game, and the concept of being able to get to the final as well was enough. And having a programme for the final is just as good. Now, moving on back to some rugby ones, we've got some old rugby programmes here. We go to Leeds Rhinos, well, Leeds Arrow as it was there, versus Wigan in 1995 in the top division of Rugby League. Um, I got this from a charity shop, believe it or not, for about 40p. Maybe a bit less, who knows, who remembers, because I've had it about six, seven months. That's a lie, I've had it about three years. Um, but yeah, it just adds to the collection of Rugby League um, programmes I've got and the fact that it's not up with the Rugby League programmes is because of the Liverpool-Chelsea one. So that's something good that I have got in my collection and 
back to the football ones. I've got a lot of Leeds United programmes, starting with against Manchester United in the Premier League back in 1995. So this, again, 22 years old, still, still got it again, charity shop. Against Manchester United, one of the league's biggest rivals, and it's also a Premier League uh, dealio. So that just adds to the what was it? The significance of the program because Leeds haven't been in the Premier League for about thirteen years now. Uh, next up, we have a Carlin. Oh, Carlin Cup? No, it's not Carlin Cup. It's a bloody Premier League for Christ's sake against Liverpool. And you may know I'm actually from Leeds, which is why I've got a lot of Leeds programs. And Liverpool again, I've just mentioned I support Liverpool, so I have um, this one because it's Liverpool. And this again, 1995. Moving on, I've got an other, an other, an other, an other, an other, an uh, uh. I've got another Leeds United programme from 1995 again in between these two matches. Uh, Leeds United versus B PSV Eindhoven, which was a European game because PSV Eindhoven is uh, based in uh, Holland. And again, it's been a long, long time since Leeds United were in a European competition. Uh, next up, we have a Capital One Cup programme from Leeds United versus Chelsea in the quarterfinals in... 2012 or 2013-13 it's 2012-13 season again cup match this is the furthest Leeds United have got in a cup until this year actually where Liverpool knocked them out of the uh, uh, the what do they call it now oh, it's just a league cup they knocked them out of the league cup it was like 2-0 yay now again one of my personal favourites is this one the Wrestlemania 28 programme now I haven't actually been to this but uh, I got it with a Christmas present, and so it's just something that I really like. You, you may know I like wrestling, and this is actually one of my favourite shows, um, as it was one of the first ones I actually watched as a wrestling fan properly, when it was actually on, rather than having to look back and watch it. So I really like that show, it's a really good show, and the programme's pretty cool as well. Uh, next up, I have Manchester City versus Stoke City, the 2011 FA Cup Final, again, uh, got sent this by a by the referee. And next up, moving on, we have the 2010 FA Cup final, Chelsea versus Portsmouth. I remember listening to this walking around Temple Newsom. The 2012 FA Cup semi-final program, Liverpool versus Everton. And uh, next up, we have another semi-final from the same year, Chelsea versus Tottenham, which is actually ongoing right now, and it's 2-1 to Chelsea, I believe. Yeah, 2-1 to Chelsea right now. Next up, I have the FA Community Shield, Chelsea versus Manchester City. And then I have Leeds versus Manchester United from the 2011-12 season. At this point, I believe we were actually living closer to Ellen Road than we do now. Well, actually, no, that's a complete lie. But it... FA Cup semi-final 2011, Manchester City versus Manchester United. Go... A lot of these actually have the team sheets in as well uh, from the game. So, like this one, you can see there. Uh, Stoke City versus Bolton Wanderers semi-final of the FA Cup from the same year. Uh, now we start with the England programs. This is from 12th November 2011, England versus Spain. Uh, then we would go on, and I've got England versus France. Uh, then we have England versus Holland from 29th February 2012. England versus Sweden. Sweden have been a thorn in England's side for as long as I can remember. Uh, then I have West Ham versus Nottingham Forest from the FA Cup in 2011, that is. Next up I have England versus Ukraine. This was uh, one of the first games, actually, for Roy Hodgson. It was in England. Uh, it was a 2014 World Cup qualifier. Then I have England versus San Marino again in a World Cup qualifier. And then we've got England versus Belgium, which was one of the last games before the Euro 2012 uh, competition. Yeah, and it also has some uh, player cards in here somewhere. 
uh, yeah, some player cards, match attacks from the, that year, which don't know how I'm going to get out of that one. Um, so, yeah, from England versus Switzerland, 4th of June 2011. Moving on to another one now, 6th of September 2011. Uh, Scott Parker, actually. Bloody hell. Um, England versus Wales. England versus Bulgaria, 3rd of September 2010. That is. Uh, 12th October 2010, England versus Montenegro. And, uh, England versus Ghana again, not really a big deal, but an early one. It adds to my collection. And then this is the first one that I actually got England versus Mexico, 24th of May 2010. Uh, if you like this video, I probably should have said this at the start, to be fair, I might just slip that uh, little plug in at the beginning if you did like this video though guys don't forget to like comment subscribe for more content which you'll get in about a year's time um but i hope you've enjoyed it i do because like so like saying i might finish that i've had them in this box for 365 days a year for so long and i just wanted to be able to look at them again i thought might as well do a video on it and this is something that is so might sound a bit stupid it's important to me because it's something that reflects a lot of the things that i've done and what i'm interested in so I know what I'm uh, wanting at my memorial when I'm dead. So you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, as I just said. And um, has my phone just gone off? Yes. And I shall see you later, guys.